Prosecutors back here at home say they will not retry a jailhouse doctor accused of criminal negligence in the 2019 death of inmate Elisa Serna, who was pregnant at the time. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal was in the courtroom for today's hearing. She joins us live from the East County Courthouse with reaction from both sides. Kelly. That's right. You know, criminal charges were dismissed against Dr. Frieda, Friederike von Lintig. Prosecutors told the judge there's nothing more we could add to this case that would change the outcome. Now, Elisa Serna's mother was in the courtroom. Uh, she calls this decision disappointing. Dr. Frederike von Lintig leaves the East County Courthouse moments after prosecutors declared they will not be seeking a second trial against her. Defense attorney Dana Grimes spoke on behalf of her client. We've always known on behalf of Dr. von Lintig that she was not criminally negligent. So it's been a long time coming, but she's now been vindicated by the jury's result and echoed by the court. Cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom for today's hearing or any of the three-week trial against Dr. von Lintig and nurse Danali Pasqua. A jury found Pasqua not guilty of negligence charges in the death of inmate Elisa Serna, but deadlocked on reaching a verdict for the doctor. It's been difficult for Dr. Von Lintig, but it's not lost on her that at the end of the day, this is a tragedy that Ms. Serna passed away. In court, the judge essentially said it would be tough to pin the blame on the two women when there is clearly plenty of fault to go around in this case. It's frustrating. Serna's mother sat through the entire trial. She saw her daughter's last moments alive. She's not forgotten and we're still fighting. A federal civil rights case was put on hold due to the criminal trial, but that will now move forward. Both Pasqua and Von Lintig are named in that case too, along with several others, including the County of San Diego and former Sheriff Bill Gore. Serna attorney Grace June. And what we are alleging against the entity, against the Sheriff's Department, is a pattern and practice of neglecting seriously ill inmates, a pattern and practice of accusing inmates of faking it, of malingering, and then completely ignoring them when they, they beg for help. And that federal case has a hearing now set for March 11th. Now, because it is in federal court, cameras will not be allowed inside that courtroom either. Heather and Carlo. And Kelly, will this criminal case, though, have any impact on the federal case? And I asked uh, the Serena family attorney about that, and she says uh, yes, in the sense that because this criminal case is now wrapped up, it will expedite that federal case. Because had there been a guilty verdict, uh, potentially there could have been appeals uh, to that verdict, and, and it could have kicked this uh, federal case further down the road. Now, I asked uh, the Serena attorney, uh, what will you be seeking in, in terms of damages? And she says that they will be looking for monetary compensation uh, for the pain and suffering they say Elisa Serna suffered uh, in the days before her death. All right, Kelly Hastall reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.